Assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will upload login user image the image of the user which is currently login through this form and we will also use validation for these images we will choose a file only the image file will be accepted then we will upload this and it will convert these images in different sizes so we start this project Here we have database learning where we have the table users and there is no column for storing images. So we will create a column for storing our user images. We will take a start by creating a route for our users profile under user folder and the method name profile. So create this controller. PHP artisan make controller user and user profile so it created a controller for us let's copy this profile and users and here we will create the method public function profile first we will check that user is login or not if the user is not login then we can redirect it to the login page or I am just showing a simple message. First we will get the login user information, user and get user. And then we will return a view user.profile with this data. Here we will use sentinel. Let's create this view file under users folder, views, create a folder, user and create a new file, profile.blade.php. Here we will write a simple HTML5, user profile and then welcome username. Now let's check this profile hit enter and please log in first now let's log in now we are login let's refresh and we have this error user not found i made a mistake we are not using user model right now we are using sentinel so change user to sentinel and refresh here we have the name We don't have the image where we can store the image of the user so let's create a migration file hbr design make migration user image column and in this migration file we will just create a column of image for our user So let's open this migration file which is under database and migrations and here is the file. Let's start with a function a schema table and we have users table function table and we will say table is string and we will have a column image with 64 characters. Copy this line and in the down function we will paste this and we will say that table drop column and the column name image. 
So now we have created. Let's migrate this PHP artisan migrate. It migrated. It created a column for us. Let's check the user table structure. And now we have the image column. So now we can easily store our image name here. Let's go to the view file. First we will create a form method post and we will set action to the profile and this form is quite different. This form will take the file. So we will include multi-part form data. Now include a file input type and I will name it image. And a submit button with text upload image. After this form we can include a condition that if if the user image field is not empty it means that we have the user image so we will display this image using image tag at this moment I don't know where I will store the image so I will leave this part but I know the image name of the user which I can easily get using user image. So now check this and our form is ready. Let's make some changes here and it's looking better. So we have this form. Now create a post URL for profile and I will name this method profile image. And I will create this method in user profile public function profile image and we will get the data. So I will use request object. Let's check this first select an image and then upload image and we have this error verify token I always forgot this line CSRF field and then select the image and upload now we have the image object. So how to handle this request first of all I will copy these lines the logic will remain the same that if the user is login then get the login user but before login user we have to code something for the image first we will get the image so I am using a variable post data and I will get this request image And from this I will get the actual image in file. First we will validate our image file. For this we will create this array file array. And in this array I will tell that the image must be a file. And the rules rules will be very simple that this image 
must be an image and it is required and the maximum length of the file is 2000 kb after setting the rules validator is equals to validator make and then we will provide these parameters file array and the rules and now the condition if the validator fails if the validator fails then we will return redirect back with errors and here we will get all the errors from the validator so let's create space for errors here if session has errors then for each errors as error and we will display this in list item Now let's check this and validator. I forgot to use validator. Use validator and then refresh. And here are all the errors. The image must be an image, and the image field is required. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this, then subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. If you have any question, then leave it in comments section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye bye.